So let me briefly talk about the justification for this algorithm. Um, there's actually much more uh, detail about uh, the algorithm and its justification in the notes which are posted um, with this class. Um, but let me give you a sketch. So as we said, the training samples are EKFK pairs for k equals 1 to n. And um, we can define something called the log likelihood function, which is a function of our t parameters and our q parameters. And this is basically going to be a measure of how well our parameters fit our training examples. So higher values for L mean that L, uh, the T and Q values um, do a better job of modeling the training examples we're looking at. So how is this defined? This is de simply defined as the log probability of the data. Or more precisely, I sum over all of my n examples. And for each example, I calculate the conditional probability of fk given ek under the model and I take its log. So this is a log likelihood, it's basically a log probability, it's a sum of log probabilities. And recall that under the IBM models, this probability has the following form, where I have a sum over all possible alignments, and I have p of fk, comma a given e of k, so I have this sum within the log. And of course this p uh, this probability p is going to be some product of q and t terms for this particular example, reflecting e, k, f, k, and the particular line that we're looking at. And so you can see that this is clearly um, very directly a function of our q and t parameters. As we vary the q and t parameters, these probabilities will vary, and this likelihood function may go up or down. The maximum likelihood estimates are then defined as the t and q pair that maximize this function. So under maximum likelihood estimation, we would like to find the parameters that uh, make the data as probable as possible, uh, in some sense fit the data as well as possible, where our me measure of fit is this log likelihood. More formally, you can derive many formal guarantees for uh, maximum likelihood estimates, for example, showing that they um, converge closer and closer to the true underlying parameters as we get more and more training data. Now as it happens, this likelihood function is quite nasty, it's quite difficult to optimize. And you know, nice looking functions will have a single maximum. This is a convex function. Imagine we only had a single parameter t here and I have some function L of t. This is nice and well behaved because it only has a single maximum and essentially any hill climbing method will in general be guaranteed to get to the maximum of that function. Unfortunately this log likelihood function is not nearly so nice so schematically it looks rather like this where you might have many different points which are local optima. So a hill climbing method is, in general, very likely to get stuck at one of these non-optimal points. Again, these are schematic, where I'm showing functions where there's just a single parameter. In reality, these are multi-dimensional functions, where I have t and q we might have thousands of parameters. And so these kind of surfaces can become extremely complex with many, many local optima. OK. This makes optimization of the likelihood function very hard. In fact, it's uh, almost certainly provably hard. It's NP-hard or, or, or something similar. Um, the guarantee for the EM algorithm is that you know it defines a sequence of parameters. We start QT, and at each point we calculate a new QT, and we keep going like this for maybe a few tens or hundreds of iterations. Uh, the EM algorithm is guaranteed in the limit to converge to one of these local optima of the likelihood function. And so while that isn't uh, ideal, ideally we'd like to get to the global maximum, in practice it uh, works quite well and is quite an effective algorithm. One thing to note is that because of this property, the point you converge to is going to depend on your initial parameter values. And so you have to sometimes be careful about how you initialize your parameters. Um, there's a lot more discussion of that in the notes which are posted along with this class.